So it's a phenomenal film. I think this is one of Arnold's great, um, best films since coming back. Mm. Um, I wanted to know, was this written for him? Did you have him in mind? Because it's such an int intricate character. Well, I, I got the tap to do this movie from Arnold. He signed a watch and, and I think saw that maybe I could kind of reinvent him a little bit and, and get him to do something that we haven't seen him do before. And, and, and that was always kind of the goal. So I did some work on the script and really wanted to create this, um, this dad, this boss, this guy who runs his family. And, and that's what is different that we haven't really seen him do because normally he's kind of like this lone wolf guy in a lot of his films. And in this one, we see him working with this team and leading this team, and there's something really kind of real and refreshing about seeing him do that. Hey, um, there's a lot of re really realistic, crude kills in this film, <laughs> yeah. and I think it works perfectly. Yeah. Um, is this the type of, of feel you, you wanted for this film? Yeah, I mean, nobody, uh, yeah. I mean, we knew this was gonna be violent going in, and that was always kind of part of it, was um, no one's really kind of making movies like this right now with this level of, it's almost over the top violence, you know, which is kind of the fun of it. So it's, it's, it's gory, it's violent, it's crazy, but at the same time, you believe these characters, you believe these people, you know? And so we had a lot of fun coming up with uh, devious ways to kill people. Asshole down. <laughs> Go, go, go! Turn it down! Move, move, move! So it's a, it has a real realistic environment. I've lived on the East Coast and kind of traveled through those areas. So, oh, right on. Okay. Uh, you know, I was kind of feeling it when they go through from being in the middle of a swamp to coming to the city. Um, how much does the environment play into how you wrote this? Well, I wanted I wanted to show uh, Atlanta and in, in Georgia. Uh, in, as what it really is. A lot of films go to Atlanta and pretend to be somewhere else. And for me, most of my movies have been shot in Los Angeles, so this was an opportunity to kind of like see something different. I was, we're, we're scouting, I'm like, oh cool, we don't have that in LA, let's shoot it. So it, it was really fun to use the environment. I mean, and, and the city of Atlanta really opened up to us. I mean, we shot on a real, uh, in their police headquarters, we shot in their SWAT team room, we shot and um, actually shot in one of the federal buildings in downtown Atlanta, and obviously had some great locations out in the country. So it was, it was a lot of fun to stage this in, 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 in such a, a diverse place. Okay, um, I had read that the role of Lizzie was difficult to cast, Yeah. but um, I wanna know, uh, how Olivia was cast in her role, because she needs to match up with Arnold. Yeah, that's the thing is, is um, you know, casting uh, Caroline, you know, who Olivia Williams played, was, it wasn't easy because you need somebody who can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Arnold, who, who has um, the same kind of presence he does. He's a very strong guy, and you meet him in person, and he's very much larger than life, very charismatic, strong person. And so I needed to cast somebody opposite him who you could feel could stand up to him in the film. And, and Olivia does an amazing job. I need you to be straight with me, John. Now you be straight with me. Why do I have to find out through the grapevine? Did you link the deaths of my people? They're linked, I'm sorry, my turn. Did you steal the money? No. Your agency thinks you did, so does the Rio Scarza cartel. Why do you think they're killing your guys? You spend enough time on the job, the job bites back. You going somewhere? One of my guys quit the team. He's off the grid. I got to warn him. Okay. Grab your stuff and I'll drive. So, uh, what's your next project after this? Next project is uh, a World War II tank movie uh, named Fury that stars uh, Brad Pitt, and that'll be out in November. Are you trying to incorporate a lot of the stuff that you put into this movie into uh, more films to make them have the same type of feel? Yeah, I mean, as, as a director, I just want um, 
I want to feel the chemistry of the characters and I want to believe what they're doing and I think it's kind of like my MO as a director, you know, train people, uh, put them in the real world and, and really just create um, an environment, you know, for the actors to, um, to really let themselves go in. Hey Dad, can I borrow the truck? No. Okay, I won't tell Mom about you smoking cigars. Yes! What's the plan, boss? Explosive breach. And let's smoke these motherfuckers. Go, go, go! Shoot the fucker! The arrest today of a cartel leader led to a seizure of millions of dollars in cartel money. Cartel's got your wife and kid. Tell John to come for you. I'm gonna destroy them. And John's family is everything. We're here to bring him back home, boss. We're here as a team. Don't ever forget that. What am I fighting for? My family and my team. Sabotage. Rated R.